All right, let's do, let's These do. Really do you hit branch? I love branch. Okay. <laughs> Today I'll be showing you some techniques for photographing a tongue-happy crested gecko and an energetic scarlet king snake in a studio-like environment. We brought everything we needed to create our own studio at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. <laughs> We're just a bag. Do we have a poisonous situation here? No. This little guy is a leaper, so I know that right out of the gate, I have to start with a fast shutter speed. This car, can you move this over? On this side, this is where he's doing the eye tongue. To compensate for the fast shutter speed, I'm gonna move my light closer to better illuminate the shot. Oh, that's so good. <gasps> I love it. Okay, don't move. To see if I can't get him to do the tongue thing. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Oh, yes. That was so good. Check that out. So much of great photography is just grabbing the right fraction of a second. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta get those eyelashes. Hold on. Oh, goodness. You're just giving me everything, aren't you? You're just the best. Can look at yeah. it? If you look at the underside. Yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Can I get a quick macro of that? Awesome, got it, nailed it, nailed it. You know, it's funny with this, this kind of streakiness uh, angle, it almost looks like caught in spider webs or something. Okay, what's next? <laughs> Hi, I'm the snake. <laughs> okay, let me know when you're ready, go. <laughs> good, 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 I love it. Oh, Maybe wow. just make sure I don't fall into, oh, hello, look at you. Would you grab me my uh, 105? That's the one. Because I know I'm shooting a fast shutter speed, I also want to highlight just pieces and parts, um, not macro, but a very shallow depth of field, like an f1.4, an f1.8, an f2.2. This is like a super slow to focus lens, but the picture's gorgeous. Is that a tongue? Yep. Uh -huh. Oh, what a macro that. Can you get me the macro? Oh, there we go. In this specific kind of macro situation, I really have to shoot with a narrow aperture to be able to get that tongue sharp. Can I try holding her? <sighs> Wait, actually, it's still pretty. Oh, oh, I think it's hard to get my focus back. Yeah. This is a harder lens to hold than this. Oh, what if I did this? There we go, girl. Let's do it. I want to get a good wide shot here, so I'm going to switch to my 24-70 f2.8 lens. I wonder if we can't hold. Can you move that light over just a little bit more? Let's see if we can't get her in a little bit of a different position. Hold, pose her to be a little curled up almost. Oh, it's so good. I did that. Oh my god, it's like a perfect heart. I'm going to switch to a single shot focus since just hanging out. Like, what's up? Here are all the shapes I have. I know, right? I have this one, and I have this one. Oh, and this is a really pretty one. That is really pretty. That's good, that's a wrap, that's gorgeous. My favorite shot of the crested gecko is the amazing look of his tongue stuck to his eye. I got a whole series of those that I'm just thrilled with. And the king snake. That shot where he looks like he's just suspended against the backdrop, even though he's actually in my hand, I am so happy with how that turned out. We are finished with our magical adventure into this world of photographing beautiful creatures. Thank you, North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences, for letting us bring our studio to you. This was an incredible experience and a whole lot of fun.